Hello, you guys. Welcome, my Aries. Happy birthday to you. Thank you so much for being here. This is going to be your love reading for April 5th through the 18th. Um, and happy Aries season and new moon. So I really hope you guys have been enjoying this, this season because I know I am. I'm a fire sign. Um, I have several planets in, in fire. So I'm definitely thriving off the creativity, off the passion, off the zest that Aries season brings. Um, and including all my Aries friends in my life, I really appreciate. Um, there are so many core values that I'm being taught by my friends. And, um, you know, Aries, Aries, they always teach me how to lead by leading, right? There's always an example of leadership. Even with my shy Aries out there, you will always be a leader somewhere in your life, you know? Um, it's just about channeling that, that Mars energy in a productive way instead of letting it go into the God of War kind of, you know, um, way. I think that you guys are amazing leaders, protectors, and when you want to really, really channel that energy creatively, you can, okay? So happy birthday to my Aries out there again. Let's jump in. So I am a psychic medium, you guys, for people who are new to my channel. I read tarot intuitively. I'm going to leave all my information at the bottom of the box below. Um, check me out on Instagram for testimonials, reviews. Look at the work that I do. Look at the style of reading that I have. Um, I do focus on um, a lot of therapeutic-based readings like self-healing, inner child, shadow work. Um, and also just really focusing on alchemy and transformation. I do have a BA in psychology, so I'm always really kind of merging um, my style of reading with psychology because that's my end goal and my career. So um, my, my readings are a little bit different. It's not just about forecasting who you're going to marry or forecasting your future children, right? It's really about aligning you with your higher self. It's really about aligning you know, um, your true self and empowering you through this journey where you are now, not the future, not the past, but we do dive into the past and how you can kind of, um, bring peace into perhaps something that's happened to you. Okay. Anyway, let's jump right in. So Aries, What's going on for you guys the 5th through the 18th for love? A lot of you guys are balancing your relationship this month, okay? And if you're not in a relationship, you're trying to balance your work life and dating situation. I feel like there's, um, I see you guys walking on a tight rope. There's a very thin rope is what I'm seeing. Um, the intuitive message here is that really focus on balance this first week of the, of the month, the first two weeks. Um, it's really important for you in matters of love that you focus on what it is that you want and don't get distracted by things trying to pull you off track, okay? Because I'm seeing that it's like behind this tightrope that you guys are walking, what I'm seeing is that there is a sun rise, right? So there's like a sun rising behind this person walking a tightrope. So you guys have just come out of a cycle, okay? The sun for me is truly about bringing clarity after the dark, right? So when you're sitting in the dark, you can't see. And a lot of the time, you know, Aries, I feel like you're coming out of a time where you've been sitting in the dark, okay? You've been sitting in the dark, and you've been using instinct to navigate through your darkness to try to figure out what's happening in your life, which direction you're going in your life. And I'm seeing that now you have the sun rising, which is bringing a lot more clarity and direction into where you want to go. Um, so I feel that this, this month in general with love is about an awakening. Okay, you're having you're having an awakening and for some of you guys it might feel uncomfortable because it's a big shakeup Aries 
you're not comfortable because even though you're big on like catastrophe, you're like, yeah, bring it. It's, it's chaos, right? I think that this chaos is a little different because it's really challenging you in, in matters of the heart. And this is matters of the heart for you is a very sensitive place. Just like Leo, you guys, when you love, you love really hard. Okay. So I feel that there's an awakening here and a reality check about where you are, you know, in your heart space. Are you willing to let someone back into your heart? A lot of you guys have, I feel like some of you guys have actually just released an old partner or you just broke up with someone or you're kind of in limbo with someone and you're kind of debating if you should go back with them or you should move forward. I'm feeling that this is an opportunity. There's no right or wrong answer, but there's an opportunity here to grow. There's an opportunity here to move forward into something different if you want to. So Aries, love, April 5th. You, oh my goodness. Did you guys see that? Yeah, you guys. I don't know. These cards just don't. Yeah, they don't want to be shuffled. That's a lot of energy. We're going to move on to a different deck because that lets me know. That lets me know that with all that energy, Aries, um, and the only card, so the pile of cards fell on the floor. I'm not going to pick it up. The only card that fell facing forward is the nine of swords. That's how you guys feel. There's a lot going on. So I really want to hear from you guys because that freaked me out. Um, what is going on with Aries love? You're standing up for what you believe in. You're going through a shift. Okay. Big shifts. Big changes for you. Honor yourself. Honor yourself. Do not let people sway you this month because you know what? You're standing your ground and people don't like it. They don't like when you stand your ground. No one can push you. N no one can push you, Aries, okay? But people are trying to kind of, you know, in matters of love, I feel like they're trying to get you to see things in their perspective or they're trying to get you to make a decision that you're not comfortable with, right? And I feel that you're going to have to stand your ground in matters of your heart, okay? You may have a lot of people looking for your attention this month, this first two weeks. You may have a lot of people vying for your attention, kind of wanting a piece of you, wanting your time, wanting you around, or just in general, It's there's a lot of noise here. Okay. And you're trying to stand your ground and your footing with what you believe in. You don't, you're not really looking to be swayed right now. Like, you know who you are, you know who you're, who you're becoming. And I feel like you have a vision for yourself and things are changing for you. The wheel of fortune is changing. So this is good fortune. This is saying that things Good things are coming your way in matters of the heart, okay? Good things, good changes. So, I don't know what's going on with you guys. The cards are literally wanting to fly. Like, they want to fly, like that first deck. So, you guys are really, like, in flight this month. There's a lot of energy here, Aries. So, please channel it, channel it in the right direction. Otherwise, it can become an angry kind of expression <coughs> Aries her love April 5th through the 18th one more card here I feel that some of you guys are bringing out like what I saw is I had a vision of some of you guys bringing out an old jacket that you're wearing like an old leather jacket some of you guys are really coming back out into the field after not dating for a while. I feel like there's feelings of newness, of like becoming someone new, becoming someone different. You're searching for your identity. You're like trying to fit on different um, masks or you're trying to, not masks, but <coughs> you're trying to figure out who you are. I think a lot of you have come out of a relationship recently and you're now back into the dating scene 
and I'm seeing that there is a lot of energy here of exploring, wanting to know what you want, who you want, and where you want to be, okay? The Seven of Cups is letting me know there's a lot of temptation this month. You have, there is a lot of temptation this month, especially sexually and with other people. You have a lot of people, okay, coming in, Aries, vying for your attention. There are a lot of people and I know this is one person, but do you see all those wands surrounding him? So you have a lot of distractions or potential distractions. But what you need to focus on is your spiritual continuation, your spiritual path of enlightenment. So, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, guys, I'm still getting over a cold. You may have people coming in that may look great on the surface, but dig a little deeper because you have a higher purpose here. It's not just about this love or infatuation or this, um, you know, short, short-lived passion. If this is more than that, okay? This is an actual shift for you that within <clears throat> deciding who you want to be with, who you want to kind of merge yourself with, there's something like energy-wise, there's a lot here that speaks volumes as far as staying in control of your libido and your focus because a lot of my singles out here Aries you're going to be very tempted this month with forbidden fruit I'm seeing it what opportunities does Aries have at the beginning of April here 5th through the 18th with love so you definitely have someone from the past coming in and I feel like it's a Gemini this is a Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Patrick, Pat, someone named with a P, Patricia, could definitely be an Aries coming in. I'm sorry, I'm an Aquarius, an Aquarius for Aries. Opportunities for Aries with the star card. But see... There's a lot of healing energy. There's so much healing energy here. There is so much healing energy for you. You guys are definitely coming out of something that just fell apart for you. And you're trying to figure out, you, you want to mend, okay? You wanna heal. You wanna figure out your next step in matters of your heart. You guys have been coasting a little bit. So what opportunities do you have here, Aries with Queen of Rods in reverse, it's star. One more card. I keep seeing that there's a shadow that's following you. And I feel like the shadow could be your shadow self or it could be the shadow of another person. You may be dealing with someone who has a lot of dark energy or they haven't worked through their, their dark night of the soul. Like they haven't worked through their uh, dark energy yet, their traumas. Um, their wounds and I feel like it's kind of like following you. I'm having a vision of this energy following you So some of you guys are dealing with some heavy energy this month. This could be from a past love. This could be um, I feel like this could possibly be an ex but I feel this is your energy for a lot of you You guys haven't left the past in the past. I feel that there are certain especially for my Aries men. Okay, I say that because I'm seeing a vision of masculine energy, of the yang energy. <coughs> and I feel that um, your opportunity here, a, a lot of this opportunity feels like healing for you. More than anything else, this feels like healing. Like you get an opportunity the first two weeks to heal. There is an, another Aries, Leo, Sagittarius involved okay so you get an opportunity to deal or, or you have this fire sign matching your fire coming into your life okay and you have an opportunity to nurture this relationship into something that can heal you or vice versa you guys can heal together here's the biggest opportunity these two cards are in reverse this could be an opportunity for another person that's going to come in and shake up your relationship, your already pending relationship, or this is someone who there's an opportunity here to build and nurture a relationship with a fire sign, brand new slate, but you may not be there yet, okay? 
or this is someone from the past coming back in trying to make things work another woman like a side chick or could be a Taurus a, a Virgo a Libra energy here as well they could have fire in their chart You have an opportunity to cultivate new love, Aries, if you want it, but you got to want it, okay? The universe is giving you an opportunity, but it's here in reverse, which is letting me know you're having a tough time accepting love. You're having a tough time, Aries, receiving love. You give it, but you don't know how to receive it. So you, you're being brought these blessings from other people, But it's like you just don't know how to receive. What is blocking you from love this month, Aries? I heard the words instability. You guys need to focus on your finances this month, okay? Because without your finances being on point and your finances being unstable, it's going to block you from missing an opportunity. You're going to miss an opportunity with someone coming in because all you're focused on is your money. And the way you kind of balance yourself is by allowing yourself to let go, let go of the need to, to overflow financially. You're not making room for anything else, okay? I see there's an immense amount of focus on materialism right now. And that's understandable with Aries season. Aries naturally wants to spend. There's a bigness, like a, I'm sorry, a great, great um, desire and impulse to spend when, when we're in Aries season. <coughs> because... There, it's it's triggering. It's triggering your your creativity. But your for some of you, your creativity, it's is stunted, and it goes straight to the need for financial um, financial gain in a way where it's blocking you from love. Okay, there's the need to nurture yourself. Please self care, you guys. Okay, you can't bring love in if you you're lacking love. You need to let people love you. Okay, don't just give it and give it and give it and not receive it. I don't I that's incredible that I'm even saying that because you guys are, are really great at accepting love, but I feel like this month it's gonna be a little bit tough. So what's blocking Aries from love this month, fifth through eighteen? I feel that although you guys think you want a long lasting commitment, I keep seeing that you guys are like there's definitely some red flags here. Like you're not ready. You're not ready because you are still trying to nurture your inner child. You're still trying to figure yourself out. <clears throat> some of you guys are dealing with abandonment stuff. You guys were left abandoned as a child or there was issues where you, you saw your parents fighting. There was abuse in the home. There's verbal abuse. There was something that you saw as a child that really, really, really triggered you that um, really left an impression. And now when you're trying to date, I'm seeing that it's it's projecting into your relationships, okay? It's projecting into your relationships. And so um, you may have to take a step back. And even though you have a lot of temptation coming in with the Seven of Cups, okay? You have a lot of temptation, a lot of options coming in. You really need take you really need to take time to kind of analyze what it is that you want. Because you have a lot of opportunity, but it's like you don't know how to give. I'm sorry, you don't know how to receive. Okay, you're, you're, you're kind of blocked. Your ability to nurture is blocked. All right, so what's blocking you is your channeling. I feel like this is you, Aries. Leo, Aries, Sag, but I feel like this is you. Could be a partner, potential partner, someone coming in. 
the energy here, the fire energy is being used in the wrong direction. Like it's being channeled in the wrong direction. The king of wands in reverse is an energy that speaks of lacking enthusiasm. You're lacking creativity. You're lacking passion. You're lacking direction. I mean, there's a lot, right? There's a lot here because in the reverse, it's like you forget how far you've come and you're giving in to your insecurities, okay? So I'm glad to see this card, which lets me know that you are moving this next two months. You're either going to move or you're moving on to a better place. You're trying to work on yourself. You're trying to figure out what you want to do. You're trying to figure out which way to go. Okay, but you're definitely moving forward. It's just going to be uncomfortable. Okay, it's uncomfortable. There's a lot of stress. There's a lot of anxiety. Um, but you finished a cycle, Aries. You're done. In matters of love, you have finished a cycle. You have come full circle with something. You've come to the realization that you need to change some things in order to gain a new perspective. <coughs> So don't block yourself from blessings, all right? So let's get an outcome card for Aries, April 5th through the 18th. One card, please. One card. So... Um, some of you guys may have to make a decision in matters of love. You have two people on your radar. One person may be someone you have had a long lasting relationship and someone else is tempting you. Okay. But with the outcome card, you're going to feel a little out of control the next two weeks in matters of the heart. You may feel emotionally out of control. Like you can't control your emotions. Like, you don't know where you're headed, you're steering, your heart, but you do have control if you allow yourself to give it, okay? It's just a matter of perspective. Gain perspective during this time because you're going to have a lot of illusions, delusions, a lot of daydreams, you know, you're going to have you're you're going through a time where you're fantasizing a lot about your life. And that's all great and dandy, but you need to stay focused on your on yourself. Stand your ground in matters of your heart, in matters of love, okay? You may have distractions here and there, but really aim at what it is that you want to do. So the Seven of Wands is really about standing your ground, all right? So the best way to handle this energy aries is to gain perspective on your life not just about your love life which is what i see here but about your life because i feel like there are a lot of changes happening and you want to be prepared for that you you don't want to get caught up in a loss of self-esteem during this transition because you guys are shifting from one partner to another or you're shifting where you have to make a decision between two people, okay? So you need to be strong enough to really, really capture your true self, your core values of which way you want to go, all right? Thanks, you guys, and I will see you soon. Okay, bye.